Hi everybody, I hope you're doing well. My name is Aiden Sears and I am a student at Redondo Union High School and a member of the RUHS band program. Today I'm here to talk to you about some music theory. So more specifically, we're going to be going over the chromatic scale and major scales and how to construct them. So with that, let's get into the video. So let's start by reviewing the 12 different notes. So we have C or B sharp, F or E sharp, B flat or A sharp, E flat or D sharp, A flat or G sharp, D flat or C sharp, G flat or F sharp, B or C flat, E or F flat, A, D, and G. So you might be wondering why I said C or B sharp. Well, this is referring to a term called enharmonic spelling. So that's another way of spelling or notating a certain note. For example, B flat or A sharp. They're both the same note and they have the same pitch. They're just spelled or notated differently. Great, now let's write a chromatic scale. So we're gonna start with the ascending version. So we have C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A, A sharp, B, and C. Now let's take a look at the descending version. So we have C, B, B flat, A, A flat, G, G flat, F, E, E flat, D, D flat, and C. So the reason I broke this up is on one hand, I needed to fit it on the page. Um, next up, it's really important to notice that the sharps are notated and we're using enharmonic spelling to notate the sharps while they're ascending and we're descending using the flats of the scale. So when you see this in sheet music, you're gonna see the chromatic scale has sharps going up and flats going down. So remember, sharps ascending, flats descending. And this is why enharmonic spelling is really important. Great, well now let's talk a little bit about major scales. But before we begin, we have to go over what a whole step is. So a whole step is another term for describing the distance between two notes. A whole step between two notes means there is one note in between those two notes. For example, B flat to C. The note B is in between those two notes. Now, another way of like using a conversion factor to get a whole step is knowing that two half steps is going to be equal to one whole step. Just like math, two halves make a whole. Now, let's talk about the major scale formula. So we're going to notate W as a whole step and H as a half step. So here's the formula. We have a whole step, whole step, half step, and then a whole step, whole step, whole step, and half step. So now let's apply this to C major. So we have C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, and that's the scale. Now, if we look at the transition between C to D, there is one note, C sharp, in between them. Now, if we look at D to E, there is one note in between them as well, D sharp. Now, between E and F, there aren't any notes, so it's a half step. Now, looking from F to G, F sharp is in between those notes, and then from G to A, G sharp is in between those notes, and A to B, A sharp is in between those notes, making all of those transitions whole steps. And then finally, B to C is just a half step because there are no notes in between them. All right, now that we've discussed the scale formula and how it applies to C major, why don't we set a goal for ourselves? So our goal before joining the band program should be to play both our chromatic scale and all of our major scales at two octaves. Here's an example of this now. Here is an example of a two octave chromatic scale. Here is an example of a two octave major scale. That wraps up today's video. Thank you so much for watching and be sure to let us know down in the comments below 
if you have any requests for a future video or any questions about this video. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video.